Everything from Bobby Flay's gourmet pot pie to designer secrets are wrapped in the February issue of Chatelaine magazine. This glossy monthly is called The Expert Issue. Jane Francisco is the editor-in-chief of Chatelaine. It is my pleasure to welcome Jane Francisco to Studio 4 to tell us more. Hello, editor-in-chief. Welcome Hi, back. Honey. Thank you very much. To the West Coast. Uh, in your mandate, is it important to you to reflect the West and the East and the Middle? It is our mandate to reflect all of Canada as much as we can. Mm -hmm. I bet it is. How have you changed it up uh, lately in Chatelaine? Uh, we were talking in the makeup room, and it seems to me the magazine is a little more... Um, can grab information a little faster, a little quicker. Yeah, we're trying. We're trying to really adapt to the lifestyles that we have as busy women who are, mm. you know, we're working, we're taking care of our families and our homes, and trying to really bring sort of the best, of the best in all these different areas, and make sure that if you want to, you can pick up one magazine and get everything you need in one that relates to your lifestyle. Sure, you can so. make mac and cheese with squash in it, <laughs> and we and put it on the cover. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, health is just. You know, it's such an important part of our lives, and it's so sort of moving to the forefront for women and, again, for ourselves and for our families and so on. So mm, Very much so. Yeah. And you've been in the magazine business for a few years. Mm -hmm. So you edited Wish. I did. Wish Magazine, right. Glow, Style, Style at, at home. home. That's right. So style is in your DNA, is it? Yes. I, I Well, I care about style, and women typically care about style, whether it's our mm -hmm. own personal style or our homes, and often both. And do you pick uh, Canadian designers, American designers, European designers? Does not matter? It doesn't matter, but we do really like to highlight the talent, mm. the home talent, of course. And this year and this time of year, because the Interior Design Show is actually opening this week in Toronto, and that's really about the best of Canadian design, but it's we've really made a mark. The Canadian designers and the Canadian design industry has really made a mark internationally. And this show, um, international talent is coming in for this as well. Mm -hmm. So um, perfect time of year to talk about trends and what's happening in the sort of design industry. And from Chatelaine's perspective, what's going to be most important in your home and my home and the kinds of things that we can actually take home with mm -hmm. us. And so. I was reading in the uh, Feb issue, uh, what to do if you had a hundred bucks, and I think the suggestion was buy flowers. That's right. And if you have a, <laughs> well, that makes sense, doesn't it? If you had a thousand dollars, what would you change? What was the answer? Oh, I'm trying to think. Well, you're the editor. There's, you don't well, have to know everything. One of the things the designers talked about, if you had a small a amount, was focus on your entryway because it's the first thing that you see every it. day and it's the first thing your guests will see. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the things. But I think at Chatelaine, you know, that was, we were talking to some of the top designers and those were their suggestions, but at Chatelaine we, we like to go a little further and I think for $100 we can make a lot of different suggestions that, that could make an impact in your home. Exactly, so, because flowers don't last yes. all that long. However, all color, huge trend, and flowers are a sort of immediate way mm. to bring color into your home. Mm. So color, you color, color galore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lime walls and orange chairs, really? Well. If you, I mean, again, you need to find a way to make it work for you. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of the big three trends that we're sort of focusing on here today, and they're big this year, one is organic texture, so the opposite end of the color scheme, and that is about natural colors, undyed fabrics, um, combining wood, natural woods and natural stone with natural fabrics like mm. linens and cottons and wools. Mm. Um, and we have some examples here um, that that sort of show you sort of how you can bring that in. Inspired um, by nature. That is right, absolutely. Yes. So, so again, this is, these, are, these are some that are designed by Canadian designers. Mm -hmm. um, this one here is from BC and I think it's 18 karat. And this is that, again, you're seeing the natural texture of the ceramic coming right through the glaze. Mm -hmm. um, and here's a way that you and could bring. It's Organic and, and the shape because it's not perfect. Yes, absolutely. So you mm. could bring some like um, accessories are a wonderful way to bring mm. some of the trends into your home without transforming everything and knocking down walls, right? So um, setting a off table the grass with some cloth. of these <laughs> exactly. But apparently we can keep the grass cloth making now. it come back. That's right. I hear tell. That's right. Mm -hmm. But you know texture and interest and absolutely. So that sort of rustic feeling that those again those neutral tones all the way to the other end, which is the c colors and the bold colors and the pops of colors mm -hmm. and mixing colors and so on. Sure, some contemporary, some a little homier, or folksier, That's but right. that branches chandelier. That's, Hello. Yes, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Also by a Canadian designer, um, the, the brothers Dressler, t twin brothers who are craftsmen and they, you know, that piece 
looks like it could have just tumbled out of the woods. Mm -hmm. But of course, it didn't because really it takes branches, a lot of work. Really branches, or is it made of metal? Looks it's like branches. Actually, I think it's made of wood. Can't but, tell. I think it's, it's really but it's branches. But very, very, very finely mm -hmm. put together. I mean, it's not so easy always to get that natural look. Well, I know, and you know, in the dark, when that's on. When you turn that on, those branches will reflect on the walls, mm -hmm. right? Which yep. gives texture. Yes, absolutely. I know that because I have uh, one of my lights from Inform, and it does exactly the same thing. I think it's from Holland or something. But you turn it on, and you have these little spider things all over the wall. Yeah, and it's, it's well, so cool. It, it, it completely transforms space. Mm -hmm. Actually, lights are have been really hot for a number of years, but continue to be. And there's a way to, I mean, what a dramatic way to change a room sure. just by bringing in a chandelier, mm -hmm. something natural like that, or something more ornate, which brings us to another one of our trends, which is the minimalism versus mac maximalism. Right, before you go there, let's okay. talk about Sean Place and that rocking chair. Oh, absolutely, oh, I, mm. I apologize. Yes, so that's, that's okay. also from BC. I'm so, just a fan. So he is, so he's from Northern BC, I believe, mm -hmm. and, and one of the amazing things about his work and this particular piece is that it's all hand done and hand done by him. And, and again, at this time when most things are mass produced, it's, it's, a, it's a very unique to find pieces that are completely hand done. Yes, I've sat in that chair at Inform. Ah. Uh, Inform does my set, but uh, that chair is beautiful. Yes, it's Like gorgeous. it's a work of art. Absolutely. Plus it's comfortable. So back to the rocker we go. <laughs> yes. One day. Fine. Okay, so uh, maximalism, minimalism. What does that okay. mean? So, well, so minimalist is is you know that's the the sleek, clean, um, uncluttered type of look. And really, most designers are leaning that way when we were sort of pulling the different sure. designers. But at the same time, the maximalist trend is still very big, and the designers who are into it are very passionate about it. And and one of the things is that that layering of textures and colors and prints is My. much more ornate and so you yes. see you see how it's it there's this it's there interesting. Are the stripes, there are the different colors there's the salon wall with where each of those frames is actually not matching up in fact you're getting sort mm -hmm. of maximum effect on each piece it's really lovely how it's put together mm -hmm. you think that's a lot of different things is that an Hermes blanket yes yeah, so sure. this is Tommy Smythe actually brought this one in I think this was something that he and Sarah Richardson worked on together and in this you know you have to be careful about this and one of the mm. things that was pointed out is that being organized and having a, mm. a place for everything is very important in this particular trend mm -hmm. because you want it to look polished even though there's a lot going on. Of course, so you yeah. buy a very trendy looking organize, uh, organizer and yes. then you stack it in the corner. That's right. <laughs> right. And the other thing is just thinking it through. So we have actually here um, an, an, an example or an idea of how you can for most of us who may not want to go all the way to some sort of, you know, crazy feeling space, right. how you can bring in that kind of a trend. So so working with layering different patterns mm -hmm. and different shades. So you sort of want to work in a similar color palette. Mm -hmm. And you may, may want to take a piece like this, which is A, more expensive, and B, has the sort of bolder print going on and put it on an accent like a chair or something. And if you were getting it covered, you may want to save some money by, say, using it less expensive. Um, backing, which is also sort of interesting, so do the back of the chair mm -hmm. with something less expensive, and perhaps bring in a pattern like this into the drapes, but your main pieces like couch and so on um, may be in these neutral tones, and that's sort of part of what makes it work, is that you're sort of layering in, it's not all everything gigantic sure. pattern and on top of gigantic As you know pattern. so well, it's a feeling. That's right. You walk in the room, even in a, a, a contemporary room, and the pillow's in the wrong spot, and you just know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is, but it's the artist in us, and everybody has, obviously, different well, ideas. Being able to be creative in your home, mm -hmm. I think that's part of where the, um, you know, you want to feel comfortable in your home, but to be able to express yourself is really important. And one of the things that, in this issue, we talked about was the sort of expensive mistakes that you make. And one of the things that came out loud and clear from the designers, but of course we at Chatelaine completely support this, is one of the biggest mistakes is jumping on a trend for a trend's sake and not going with your heart. I mean, you have to love it. Mm. So mm. if you see a trend and you really and, it, and you gravitate towards it, then that's something that you may want to go for. Sure, but it's spend... true in fashion. Absolutely. It's true in most things. Mm -hmm. Know who you are. That's right. And if somebody walks in and doesn't like your house, it's not their house. Absolutely. So you don't have to worry. But uh, uh, the most popular color choice, I think, is still white. White still was the number one by, mm. from most designers. However, 
that's, a, I think, to a lot of them, it's, it's a backdrop type of thing, which allows you to bring in color and texture and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. But color still is a really strong message this year. And um, so we brought some of the color combos that are hot. And um, so I'll start with the, the um, let's say, the strongest. So these types of bold tones together, this is something where you don't want to layer. What you want to do here is color block with these types of really strong, bold colors. So an example, you may have a set of shelves. And so what you could do, which is fun and creative mm -hmm. and beautiful, is do a row of red objects on one shelf, and then a row of fuchsia objects, and then a row of orange objects. And then you get that kind of impact of those colors, but you're not, you mm. haven't committed yourself long term. To the whole room. Yes. And it can, I mean, totally dramatic visually. Mm -hmm. And, but you're not mixing them all up into a big suit. Right, and it looks like art. Well, yes. it is art in a sense, but yeah. it's, it's not a painting. Absolutely, and something you can have fun with as mm -hmm. well. And kind of, um, and again, from a seasonal perspective, you can have fun and be creative in your home and allow yourself to switch it up. And in a gray on Ontario day or a gray or Vancouver day. On a day like today. A, a pop of color. It would be is, very nice. Is very nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, also in this issue, Obviously, you have Dr. Oz and a few more, but you have um, skin care, mm -hmm. adult acne, what to do, beauty trends. How do you pick the books? How do you decide this is the book uh, of the month or this is the book to read? Well, we have a books editor, Lori Grassi, and she, she reads all of the books. Mm -hmm. And um, at the same time, a, a lot of the different editors, and we have book reviewers as well who are part of that. And so essentially, we're we're looking at you know what is new and then with the book of the month club which is new for mm -hmm. us we've been doing that mm -hmm. now for I think three or four issues um, we try to mix it up um, hot new books sometimes books that are coming out in paperback for the first time because if you're doing a book club sometimes you want to wait till you can get it on paperback um, and we like to have a nice mix of different genres in that mm -hmm. for people who want to read along because of course we have the whole online component where if you aren't in a physical book club where you get together with people there's right. an opportunity for you to um, sometimes there are some chats with the author um, and certainly extra um, information from them and then we get to interview the author which is amazing and bring some of the um, the inspiration mm -hmm. for the stories and sort of background and so sure. on as well. Well Chatelaine.com I'm assuming. Absolutely, yes. Well, keeping up with the high tech age. Doris Anderson would be so thrilled to hear about all of this. She was editor at Chatelaine for what, 20 years? I think so, yeah. Almost. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, one of Canada's great feminists. Absolutely. And one of the people who, I mean, Chatelaine um, has been around now for almost 84 years, but really? certainly she was one who um, made its importance in women's mm -hmm. life so much um, greater. Mm-hmm. No kidding. Also, you can read about sex in here. I just saw sex. Who knows? Absolutely. Uh, and guilt-free brownies. The brownies are delish, I can say from personal experience. Excellent. I thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Uh, Jane Francisco, Editor-in-Chief, Chatelaine Magazine.